Okay, so hi guys and welcome back. Ever since these 360 cameras became effortable, I, I intended to get one in order to experiment with it on my flying machines. I decided to try to mount it onto one of my race copters facing forward, as shown in the picture. This should provide a 360 image in front of the quad, which I imagined to be pretty awesome, but had not really any idea of what the outcome would really be. <laughs> we try this today and I will show you the resulting video, including a nice 360 crash in the end. <laughs> So let's get started. I got this cheap 360 camera for less than 100 bucks from Banggood. Link is in the video description as always. Let's first clarify something. Uh, well, this is not a real 360 camera, even if everybody sells it as, as such. It only has one lens to the front, so it can only show the front of the camera. However, the front is shown in full 360, so that should be awesome. A true 360 camera would need two lenses, one to the front and one to the back. But back to this one. It comes at 88 grams, including the battery, which should be easy to lift for one of my race copters. It shoots video at 2440 times 2440 pixels, which is a pretty good resolution given its price. Using it is simple. It comes with a display and it's easy to set everything like you want to. To start recording, just press the large record button. It records audio as well, which is not that useful for my intended application, well, but it's great. <laughs> Opening a door, it reveals the exchange able battery, an HD out port, which I did not test yet, and an USB port, which is used for charging and downloading videos. This is also the place where the micro SD card goes in. But now let's get rocking. So, uh, well, I needed to mount this somehow to my frame and since I did not have any of my creative moments, I, well, I simply taped it down. <laughs> Works great, holds well, looks ugly. So, uh, mission accomplished, I guess. <laughs> but now let's get the real fun started. Let's fly this beast. What we see here are two video streams. On the left side, we see the regular DVR video from my FPV camera. On the right side, we see the recording of the 360 camera, showing the whole front area of the quad, including its props. YouTube can also show the 360 video in a way so that you can actually look around in the video by tilting your phone or moving your mouse, but you cannot use this sort of video together with a regular video like this one. So I have put this version where you can actually move around and stuff in a separate video, which is linked right now on the upper right and it's also linked from the video description. So don't miss watching this one for later, it's awesome. But let's stay here first. In my opinion that 360 video like it is now looks absolutely awesome as well. It's like a gigantic fish eye lens in front of the copter. I really really like this effect. One can actually see some of my tape in the corner, so it's really 360 degrees, at least to the front. Keep watching for the crash in the end. <laughs>
Well, yeah, crashed it good in the dirt. I think the reason was that I simply got out of control distance. I was sitting close to the trees in a corner behind a bunch of trees, which you can see in the photo right now. And I flew the copter to the other side of these trees, to another corner, because I wanted to show you uh, some video of going close to the trees. So suddenly I had a lot of trees between me and the copter, and I think that's when the receiver went into failsafe. So all my fault. Luckily only some props broke and everything else is working great, still working great. So just need some cleaning up of course. <laughs> So to conclude, uh, I really like this small 360 camera and putting it on one of my race copters was a ton of fun. I really like this. Hope you like this as well. If so, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe and share this video. Please share this video. That would be awesome. If you like, you can now go and watch the version of this flight, which will actually let you look around by tilting your phone uh, or, or moving your mouse. So you really need to see that. So follow the link on the upper right or in the video description and well tell me what you think about it please comment below uh well yeah so so thanks for watching and well see you next time guys <laughs>